off. I know it's painful and hard to accept, but Teresa's gone. She came to me, Luis. She warned me. Margaret, it's not possible, okay? What's happening to me? I need to talk to them. I am so weak. I know, Luis. I saw her die. I know Teresa is no longer. I just wish I could understand how she could have come to me. Mama, it took me this long to finally realize that Sheridan was gone. She's not coming back. Right? I'm just finally moving on with my life. Happy for you, son. And I know it takes time, but so much has happened. Teresa warned me there's still danger ahead. Mama, well, it was just a dream. Or it was your imagination. Mind. It's your mind playing tricks on you. It's, it's preventing you from realizing that Teresa's gone. But she is. She's, she's not coming back. Come on, Paul. Why don't we sit down for a minute? I'm fine, Luis, really. I want to see Teresa. Niña Bella. I still don't believe she killed Julian. She confessed to save someone. I'm going to find out who it was she was protecting. I miss her so much. Why? I did see her, Luis. I did not imagine it, and I did not dream it. Well, I saw Sheridan so many times, too. I could have sworn that she was still alive. Thank God I finally found you. I can't believe it's you. I miss you so much. Me too. No. I feel myself leaving you. As if I'm going far away. No, please. Please don't leave me. Your name. I can't remember your name. Tell me your name. Dr. Russell explained it to me. She said that it was my subconscious compensating for my loss. That's exactly what happened to you when you saw Teresa. Your mind was compensating for your loss. I suppose that makes sense. It's just so hard. I wish Antonio was here. Why? Mama, I left him a note when I was down in Bermuda. I told him to come back to Harmony right away, and we haven't heard a word from him. Now, he's off somewhere with his new girlfriend. I'm sure he had good reason not to come. No, I'm sure that he didn't. That's just Antonio. Whenever his family needs him, he... I wish you would let go of this anger with Antonio. It's not helping anything right now. I know. I'm sorry. It's just that I think that Antonio is partially to blame for what happened to Teresa. How can you blame him when he wasn't even here? Well, that's just it. If Antonio had been here, then Teresa would have had two big brothers to look out for her. Now, maybe between the two of us, we could have prevented this horrible thing from happening. I don't know. You know how stubborn Teresa was. Teresa had confessed to murder. Maybe he, Antonio, he could have got through to her, you know? Maybe he could have got her to recant her confession. No. What could he have done that you didn't do? I don't think Antonio would have made one bit of a difference. Teresa was so stubborn when she made up her mind about something. 
She's just like you. And Antonio. And your father. All of you. Nothing can stop you from doing something you wanted to do. Please. Please. Did you hear something? I heard Teresa call my name. Oh, and I've heard it too, me. This was just our minds playing tricks on us. Though. Sounds like she can sit up and speak to us, doesn't she? Yeah. But we know that'll never happen. We'll never hear Teresa's voice again. No. Of course we won't. So many awful things have happened, you know. I just wish we could have some good news, just a small thing. Actually, I do have some good news. I got engaged. Oh. Beth and I are going to be married. That's wonderful, Neil. When did this happen? Tonight. After losing Sheridan and Teresa, I felt helpless. I felt like I couldn't protect either one of them, and... I don't want to feel that way again. And I love Beth, and... I just didn't want another day to go by without her knowing how I feel about her. I'm sure you'll be happy, Beth. I am so happy for you, son. Well, I think I made the right decision. That is what my heart told me to do, and... Yeah, we're gonna have a wonderful life. And, you know, I, I think I'm finally at the point where I can move on without Sheridan. I don't believe it. Please, who is it? Hello, brother. Hold on. I thought I'd better talk to Mama first. I don't want your first meeting to be over the phone. It's fine. Luis, who's on the phone? Hello, Antonio. Antonio. Let me have the phone. Let me have the phone. Hello? Mijo, it's Mama. Are you all right? Where are you? Hi, uh, Mama. It's so good to hear your voice. Look how happy he is. I wonder who he's talking to. I don't know, but I don't want to put this off. I'm going to talk to him now. Well, I've got to go to OR3. I guess this will have to wait. Oh, well, Brian doesn't check out until later, so you have some time. Enjoy your happiness now, kids. The future holds a lot of pain for the both of you. So, how are you, Mama? I'm good, mijo. <laughs> Where are you? And when are you coming home? I, I can't wait to meet your girlfriend. I believe that she has the nerve to call here. Oh, is everything just suddenly going to be okay just because he decides to call? Antonio, there's so much I want to ask you, so, so much I want to tell you. Well, don't even try it on a long-distance call. Wait till I come home. You're coming home? I believe it when I see it. Oh, this is just wonderful news. I have to pinch myself to believe it. Now, uh, don't pinch yourself, because it's really going to happen. And I'm bringing a surprise with me. Your girl, Diana, well, I, I suppose you would. Actually, Mama, she's my fiance. I just asked her to marry me. Antonio, that's wonderful news. Antonio's engaged. I figures. I'm engaged, so he gets engaged. I can't wait to meet this Diana. She must be a very special person. She's the most wonderful woman you'll ever meet, Mama. When are you coming home, Antonio? How soon will I see you, Mijo? I'm coming home tonight, Mama. Brian, you're not well enough. 
You'll see me soon. Antonio, please, Mijo, don't disappoint me. Are you really coming home after all these years? Well, if you said she's coming home, you damn well better be. I'll find him and wring his neck. Yes, I'm bringing Diana home to meet you. And I know you're going to love her, Mama, just as much as I do. She's going to love you, too. If you love her, then I know I will love her, too.